Yo, what is good? Bye, Edward. Free what is good, yo? So, with what I have seen for quite a bit, pretty boys and certain types of character tropes are being brought into this show like they should. And trust me, I will never underestimate opponents thanks to anime <laughs> um, especially older people who everybody just kind of imagines they're going to be incapable of doing things when we have people like Mike Tyson that exist in this world so if you think he is old he could probably knock out almost half of the population of the earth <laughs> still so just keep that in mind I mean, he's not a pretty boy, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the prettier people in this show, for some reason, are going to be able to scrap. As we see with the person who goes against one of the cubs that are mentioned by uh, the dragon, uh, the tiger cub, or the dragon, uh, whatever he is, man, the guy with the palm. I don't know why when his when he said he summoned the six. One of the six was the his was called the Tiger Club, and I guess he must be trying to recruit these cubs or make the cubs strong enough to be able to fight the enemy that he knows is going to attack everybody. I guess I'm not sure because at the end of the day, I think the reason why I actually was enjoying this episode the most is because it actually felt as if um, he who has been seemingly felt like the bad guy might not be all as bad as we kind of seen him in at first glance definitely uh, the people who were worrisome were the people who were attacking the grandpa the people with these cloaks and uh, pretty much moving in an alliance all together as one and it looks like the guy who I thought kind of looks similar to the guy with the uh, eye patch and he has all the bandages doesn't seem like he has anything to do with those types of people which is kind of cool because uh, they don't need any more strong people as it looks like because with the grandpa pretty much throwing one kick and destroying the nature around him he actually doesn't like fighting for the, those reasons right he, probably much rather be fighting in a much more contained area like a stadium where nature itself isn't going to get completely injured because opponents right so that's pretty sick I already love his grandpa I mean I kind of figured his grandpa was going to be a dope character but he is living up <laughs> to my expectations at this point and that was nice to see in this in his character at least um the other thing that really threw me off this week was the fact of how they just started using power scaling to pretty much start showcasing who is ridiculous, right? Like, to be fair, the people in the black suits are supposed to be relatively strong. They have those powers that can manifest and to power scale one of the people who have been summoned or one of the people who are the assassins uh, especially the one who supposedly just took out this blind guy who it didn't really help his power scaling per se when you take out someone's blind and we haven't seen him do anything besides swing a stick and it made a big gust of wind when he was just sitting down with one hand so there's potential that he could have done something crazy, but yet again, he was blinded by the sword technique that the girl we want to master, she can blind people somehow with it, or I guess the blade probably sliced his eyes going past, or something along those lines, um, but regardless, he gets bopped, blind man gets bopped, and then after he gets bopped, the same guy who takes him out goes and takes out another guy with glasses, and he's the guy that we saw supposedly is stronger than the person uh, our main character wanted to fight in the black suit, the blonde guy. He fights this guy with the glasses, and then even that guy gets bopped. 
by the same dude who assassinated the glasses guy and it looks like he took zero to no damage right like it looks like he did not get touched by the quote unquote one of the strongest uh, commissioners or whatever he called him at the time so these are the types of stuff that I notice right off the bat is the people who are capable of even trying to put up a fight against the grandpa are much stronger probably than anybody we're seeing right now on on the screen in the case of uh, awakening and still having potential to get stronger because the two people who are supposedly on teams and the way they just greeted each other one by opening a giant black hole with teeth and the other one pretty much burning that black hole a monster away with an instance before this person who's standing in between them can notice what the heck just happened. They seem pretty dangerous. <laughs> they seem pretty freaking scary and dangerous. So I don't know how much they're going to try to crush each other. Like the guy with the green hair said to the other is, I'm going to crush you and stuff. So I don't know how much teamwork is actually going to be used. Or if that's going to be a detriment or even not. So we'll definitely have to see how this plays out. These powers seem ridiculously broken. So I am very surprised that no one has offered or we haven't seen a, a way to get our teammate these powers. But with what our, um, what they have already shown, they don't really need powers yet, right? I'm not going to say they don't need them at all, but when we were seeing this big painting of um, these gods and savage gods and stuff like that it clearly reminded it there's a, a a monkey on there that is Wukon and Wukon is what Goku was tra like created from that is what Goku literally uh, equates to is that's his background uh, if you want to learn more about that character, definitely check out the monkey with the staff and who could fly on clouds like Nimbus, right? <laughs> um, there's a lot that goes into the Wukong character and that is definitely what our main character was using was a, a big giant staff. So I think he might actually be the Wukong because after he it shows the Wukong, it talks about someone who is trying to save the world. Like, there's some gods that want to save the world, and who had a staff and kind of resemblance that was him. And then, I think we've already, yeah, the turtle was, uh, the other guy, was his, uh, the partner of Wukon, right? So, we know who the turtle and we know who the monkey is. We also know some of these other ones that are in there are probably some of these, the savage gods that he was talking about, so... God of high school, uh, I feel like it slowed down the pace just a tad bit, but at the same time, it didn't slow down like a ridiculous amount because of how quickly the six were introduced and how quickly people straight up lost their lives during this encounter of like two weeks and the tournament about to start prior to them uh, getting taken out. So it's kind of interesting to see if this is where they're going with all this because as of now I'm pretty concerned that anything we see from here on out is going to have a long lasting uh, you know presence so hopefully we get some awesome stuff we got some team battles coming up soon I wonder if they're actually going to be three on three in the ring fighting or when they say team it's like your team's going to win the most out of three you know like maybe you got to win two and or you gotta beat everybody on the team solo and if you don't you lose I'm not sure but with that being said everybody I hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you watch this I am your boy the anime G and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later peace